Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Chelsea and today I am bringing you my April wrap up. Now I didn't do as well as I had hoped I would. Um, I'm pretty sure I say that most months. I read a total of four books. I had six on my TBR. I've read three of the six that were on my TBR and I'm just gonna run through the ones that I didn't read and we'll put them on a TBR somewhere else. I apologise if you can hear background noise. As I started to film my neighbours decided to stop cutting things. If you can't hear it, fantastic, but I can hear it and it's irritating. So, <laughs> it's just how it is. So out of my TBR that I had for the month of April, the two books that I haven't started is The Sisters Grimm by Amena Prague and God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I have started both Altered Carbon by Richard Morgan and Bone Cryer's Dawn by Catherine Purdy, but I haven't finished either. So, you know, I've started two. Read three, not read two. It's not too bad. But let's get on to the ones I have read. <laughs> the first book that I read in the month of April was The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. This I finished, I started it in March and then I finished it like at the very start of April. I gave this four stars, I really enjoyed it. Like with all N.K. Jemisin books it seems as though the first 200 odd pages you literally sit there like what the heck is going on but then it picks up and then you actually understand what's happening. I'm not too sure if this is going to become a series, I kind of hope it does because there's room for it to become a series and I kind of would love that. But I also know that maybe this is just best as it is but in this book we are following the city of New York essentially and we meet all five boroughs, it's very very cleverly done. The magic i guess the magic yeah in this is fantastic the way the city is described i i actually felt like i was in new york it was amazing and i have been there so like i am aware i guess of like the city and the different boroughs and i have traveled around a bit and I actually felt like I was there in this book, which was amazing. So yeah, four stars, really loved it. N.K. Jemisin has a way of just confusing the absolute heck out of you, like I said at the start, but somehow still pulling you into the story so you want to read more. I have read books before where authors will completely confuse you and then you kind of just put the book down because you don't want to know how it works. But somehow N.K. Jemisin just has like the perfect mix of confusion and fantasticness. I do recommend this. Um, it just missed out on a five star I think for me there was just I don't know like five stars for me are ones that I think about for ages or get me really emotionally invested in and it just slightly off that but still very good and I recommend this if you like N.K. Jemisin read this you'll love it I hope <laughs> The second book that I read in April was Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is the first one in the Shadow and Bone trilogy, Grishaverse trilogy, I think it's the Grishaverse trilogy, and I rated it three stars, so it's an okay book, like it wasn't terrible but it wasn't amazing. I started reading this because as everyone is well aware, Shadow and Bone has just come out on Netflix and I really wanted to try and read the whole series before that happened. Didn't, I didn't do that, um, but I might try and read the next two books at some time very soon, I'm not too sure, or I'll just watch the series. I don't know. I did feel as though not a lot happened <laughs> in this book. I feel like in this book there was a lot of travelling, a lot of like stuff, but there was no real... eh. You know? I felt as though there was no real outcome, but I did really like... so, that sounds like I'm ripping this apart. I did really like this book. I would recommend this book. But I've also read Six of Crows and The Crooked Kingdom and Ninth House, which is completely different to Grisha Verse. But anyways, before this, and this was her first series, and I can tell is basically what I mean. Um, I did love, my favourite part of this book though, is when Alina and Mal are looking for the stag. I don't know if that's a spoiler. This is a well-known thing. If that is a spoiler, I'm sorry. But when they're looking for the stag, that is my favourite part because although that is a travelling thing, I feel like there's a bit more action to it. I don't know. Three stars, did like it, will carry on with the series. Can't wait to actually watch the TV show because everyone seems to be loving it and saying that it's the best adaptation of a book and that all adaptations should be like that. So I'm excited. I'm hoping I don't fall for the hype for the show though because I feel like that could happen. But yes, I'm, I'm babbling on. Three stars, recommend it, can't wait to read the rest of the series, can't wait to watch the TV show. Is the gist of what I've been saying. <laughs> so the 
third book that I read in the month of April was Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. I gave this four stars. To begin with, I didn't really know what to make of this book because this book is set in a world where the Nazis won World War II and we are following a young girl called Yale as she partakes in something that is called the Great Axis Tour. So once Hitler and the Nazis won World War II, essentially the world kind of split into the world that Hitler controlled and like Japan, I guess. I don't really know who else, but pretty much Germany take over like everywhere and the Axis Tour is a motorcycle race that takes place starting in Germany and then they travel through all sorts of countries like um, at one point they go through the desert, they go through the jungle, I'm not saying countries <laughs> because my geography is absolutely rubbish, ah it's here. Um, so they go through the Reich's major cities, Germania, London, Cairo, Rome, Baghdad and Paris and then other countries as well and it was amazing like yeah like I said to begin with I wasn't really too sure what to make of it but as it went on I got really invested. I really liked Yale as a character, she is just so stubborn <laughs> and she knows what she wants to do and well she knows what she has to do because she is part of the resistance that are trying to take Hitler down and yeah I, I really enjoyed this I actually need to get my hands on the second one because I want to know what happens like the ending of this is just great I just don't know how it ends and I want to know how it ends I think it's only a duology as well so that means there's only one more book in this series and then I can finish it <laughs> Oh, uh, the problem of being like knee deep in so many series is ridiculous but yeah four stars recommend it check it out if you it's I didn't think I'd like it because it's historical-esque fiction but mix in the dystopian kind of element to it I loved it it was great and the final book that I completed in the month of April was The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow. So I gave this again four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. Again, it's a historical fiction mixed in with fantasy this time. So I wasn't too sure how I'd feel about the historical part of it, but I really enjoyed it. I love the sisters bond. So in this book, we are following three sisters. We are following James Juniper. Beatrice Belladonna and Agnes Amaranth. They're all sisters, so their last name is Eastwood. And they're all very, very different. So the story starts when Juniper stumbles into um, New Salem and something magical happens and it kind of pulls these three sisters together. And throughout this book, it's kind of like a push and pull of them being pulled back together and pushing apart again because they don't want to work together or they have different views about things. And I really, really liked how that was done. I thought that was brilliant. And makes in the fact that this is witches and suffrages or suffragettes. It's part of the suffrage mo movement. And I just loved it. I thought it was amazing and take out some of the fantastical elements that happened in this book and I could believe that this is something that would happen or would have happened in the 1800s. I just... it was so good. <laughs> I would recommend this book. This was like I think an Illumicrate pick for one of the months last year. <laughs> um, but yes, I really enjoyed it. I think it's fantastic. I know my summaries are a bit rubbish. All the links are down below for all of the books to actually be described to you in proper ways. But yeah, I don't know, like I just, I fell in love with the three sisters for three different reasons and that is one of my favourite things that authors do. My all time favourite thing about this book is that there is a romantic element to it but it's not forced. I don't really like romance, I don't really like the mushy stuff but I actually really enjoyed how that was done I thought it was done amazingly and it wasn't like all of a sudden everyone's happy everyone's doing this it wasn't like all of a sudden everyone's heartbroken it was just beautifully done that was a bit jibbery but there you have it so there you go there are my four books that I read in the month of April I'm hoping that 
May is better. I feel like I kind of got in a bit of a slumpy place. Um, towards the end of April I was reading Altered Carbon and I just wasn't enjoying it. So I picked up a completely different book which I will talk to you about probably in next month's wrap up because I will have finished it. But I am enjoying that more. I think I just needed a fantasy kick rather than a sci-fi kick. But I'm hoping to at some point do a week-long vlog where I'm just concentrating on finishing off books that I've got on my currently reading shelf. There are quite a few of them. I am slightly ashamed to admit because I do have a habit of starting books, putting down, starting something else because my attention span is just all over the place which I think is fair enough for a lot of us. But yes, that is everything for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really supports me and my channel. Leave me a comment down below what you read this month. What was your favourite read of this month? I don't know what mine was. Probably The Once and Future Witches, if I'm completely honest. I really, really enjoyed that book. And it is the biggest surprise for me of this month. I didn't know I was going to enjoy it as much as I did, but I really enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of me, please consider subscribing down below and ringing that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload new content. I currently upload on a Wednesday and on a Sunday, so be sure to stick around for more bookish content from me. But otherwise, that is everything for today's video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye!